to sit back and see what we've achieved so far and then to sit back at the end of the day, this project is going to be one that we honestly will bring our grandchildren to see. G'day, my name's uh, Chris Bryce, I'm the project manager on the Enlarged Cotterdam uh, project. It's my role here to uh, deliver this project uh, on time, on budget and most importantly uh, uh, safely. Um, I've got a team of about uh, 60, 65 people that report to me. I've been with Abbey's for 15 years, I've primarily done road construction projects. I was the, one of the construction managers on the M7. Uh, freeway. Uh, I was the project director for the Bonville upgrade up near Coffs Harbour. Um, when I first joined Abbey Group I was uh, a project engineer on the M2 motorway. Um, we've done Yelgan to Chindra up near the border. To quote one of my construction managers, um, Andrew Dance, he said there's no recipe book for um, how we're building this dam and I think that's a really good uh, a metaphor for what we're doing here. Uh, with, the, with the road projects, working for the RTA, there's a recipe book for everything we do. You, you do the same thing job after job in a different sort of, in a different manner, but with this thing there is no recipe book. Um, you know, we've got specifications and designs that we have to meet, but there's a, a lot more um, freedom on this job to apply some really first principles engineering concepts and practices to solve very unique problems. Well, of course, it's number one. You know, it's uh, safety. It just goes above every other consideration, and it's the first thing we think of when we attack any any situation. It's just no point getting to the end of this project on time and on budget, and having this magnificent wall sitting here if we know that we did someone harm along the way. It just, uh, apart from the obvious impact to that particular person. The, uh, the impact on the rest of the team is just, it just takes the shine off the project. You know, in my role it's far less about the engineering and it's far more about just showing that leadership and, and keeping the team happy and functioning and together. Look, I really think it's just about being, being a human being, um, you know, treat your guys with respect and include them in decisions, value their contribution, ask for their contribution, involve them, keep them informed as to what's going on. You know, as much as we're engineers and we've got sort of got the, the bachelors of engineering behind us and the education behind us, we've never, you know, look at these guys behind us here, you know, we've never had to operate an excavator or a bulldozer on the side of a 45 degree slate. We wouldn't have a, a clue how to do that. So right from the start we involved you know, guys have really been on the ground, they've been involved in this, from the start in trying to figure out how we do this safely. And their, you know, their inputs have been absolutely um, critical. Most importantly, we haven't had any serious incidents yet. We're 300 days uh, without a lost time injury, which is, a, which is a, a good achievement, but we need to get through the whole project without, uh, preferably without a lost time injury and certainly without any major incidents. So in that respect we're travelling well. Dams are hard things to get up, you know, they're very politically sensitive. They're, they're hard things to get up. Um, so when you get an opportunity to do one, you grab it with both hands. The, the team back in that office there is just pumped to be here. They really are. It's just so much more than I've seen on any other project. They just, they all recognise that this is uh, very well be a once in a career opportunity and they really enjoy turning up to work.